Hey everyone. Okay, so this is a good day and a bad day. So first of all, why is it a bad day? Well, here's my Bodnik 58 inch um, reflex deflex bow. Beautiful bow, but what happened here? So just get really close. Can you see it got delaminated? So um, it's a good day because, this is a bad day because of this, but it's a good day because I uh, contacted uh, Custom King Archery, um, who's the main distributor for uh, Bodnik Bows, and they sent me a replacement bow. Not only did they send me a replacement bow, but they sent me a replacement bow that is a 60 inch. I never liked this one because it's 58 inch. Um, don't believe what people say to you about this being, uh, doesn't uh, pinch your fingers at a longer draw length than 28 inch. That's just not true. You do get finger pinch it. Um, and so hopefully the 60 inch will be a little bit better. They're both 40 pounds, one's longer, um, and it'll be for more forgiving as well. So I'm excited to use that bow, um, and I'm excited to open it up. So I'm gonna open up with you guys here. So sad day because of that one, um, but happy day because we got a box. Got something cool. All right, I haven't opened it yet, so let's see what's in here. That's pretty exciting. What do we have? Okay, we got an owner's manual. Get rid of that. Bubble wrapped it. All right, let's get this bad boy out. Okay, so here it is. So in comparison, here is the other bow. And you can see the tips are longer. So two inches total. Um, everything else looks the same, almost identical. The limb tips are a lot thinner on this one at the tip. They taper a lot more. I don't know if you can see that. But you see this is the 60 inch, this one. This is the 58 inch. And this is a much sharper tip at the top. It's interesting. Looks like what they did was they just took an inch off of this one to make it 58 inches. Yeah, what would that look like? Yeah, that's about right. So they must make them all, looks like they make them all 60 inches um, and then they just take an inch off of either end and, and do that. Because otherwise, they look identical. Yeah, the fade outs are all in the same spot. Okay, well. What else did this come with? I assume it came with a string and a rest plate and a knocking point. All right. 60 inch long, 10 strand whisper string. All right, well, I'm gonna give this a shot. This is 40 pounds at 28, 60 inch Bodnik bow, signed right there. And so this is gonna be, um, it's gonna be fun to shoot, I bet. So let me take a few shots with it. I'll take some video and I'll post the video and give a little review on it. Anyway, um, the other one delaminated. It was sitting in my garage. I'd shot it a few times. I uh, hadn't shot it for months. Uh, it was strung. It was strung. So 
is it my fault? Uh, you know, it's debatable. Um, they should, you should be able to keep your um, newer bows strung the whole time. Uh, but uh, it has been pretty hot here. Maybe in the garage got a little bit too hot, but I won't be doing that to this one. I know that because this is a beautiful bow. It's a matte finish on these bows. The limbs are, um, I believe they're maple core with uh, bamboo um, laminations. So it's a fast shooting 40 pound bow. And I would typically get a, like a 50 pound, but um, I really like the feel of the 40 pound in, with my other bow. So uh, I'm excited to shoot this a little bit longer bow. So we'll take a video of me shooting out in the yard and we'll see how I do. All right, I'll talk to you soon and uh, thanks for watching. Right, we got a busted up old deer down there about 18 yards so you can see over top of my shoulder i'll shoot a couple down range then we'll talk a little bit more about the bull take a look and then uh, chat a little bit about the boat. All right, so as you can tell, it's a good shooting bow. Um, I mean, it shoots straighter than I do, obviously, but uh, there's a couple things that bother me about it. One, for the price, you think that they could uh, make this a little bit more satiny feel uh, some people like this this uh, matte finish though uh, I'm not one of them I think that it could be a much more premium product if that satiny feel was gone and it was more silky silky smooth and um, that's really about it I didn't like the 58 inch version the 60 inch version is by far better if you're over 5 10 probably I would go with the 60 inch version uh, just because of the comfort level and the fact that your fingers do get finger pinch um, at the uh, smaller uh, bow length, the 58 inch. So this is this is a good size for me. 
uh, 60 inch I you saw pictures of me taking out a, a doe with this this uh, this same bow it is 40 pounds I draw to about 29 inches so you know it's it's greater than 40 pounds and uh, you know it's not the fastest bow in the world although it does have bamboo laminations on it so it does have some speed and uh, you saw the crony of that too so you know you make the call um, I'm hoping that I gave you enough information on whether you know you want to pick up one of these bows or not I I can recommend it uh, if you're in the market for a long bow this is a good one a reflex deflex one uh, this is a this is a great one the grip is quite good it's fat here so that it goes right along the thumb pad which is super super important uh, when you're trying to draw back and depending on what your grip looks like um, longbow guys are usually hands-on uh, recurve guys are more like this I tend to be more like that too sort of that stop sign sort of grip uh, and then <clears throat> or just light fingers on top of the the the, the front of the riser so it, it works well for me uh, if you want a more flat um, bow then you should probably go with the traditional D shape type long bow but as far as having fun and shooting this bow it's excellent uh, incredible I love it and and the customer service can't get any better uh, custom King uh, uh, traditional archery they uh, they set me up they hooked me up uh, you know after I got one of the bows was delaminated as I, I mentioned at the beginning of the video every bow comes with a serial number too it's a lifetime warranty on these bows for the value of 320 some dollars or 340 bucks in between there you, you just can't get a bow like this I mean with a lifetime warranty like that for that price and it's just amazing they stand behind their bows Bodnik has been making bows for forever um, yeah, so it's just minor complaints, but for the majority of it, I love it. I put a, a Selway um, a quiver on here, uh, the one that has the straps. And the reason I did that is because it really cuts down on, or it makes the bow heavier, and it's a little bit more dead in your hand as you release. So anyway, that's it for me. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else, but if you've got comments on this bow, please leave them in the, the comment section down below. Tell me what you like about this bow or what you don't like about the bow i'd love to interact with you but until the next bow review enjoy the outdoors and we'll see you again